Hello, everyone, and welcome to New Consciousness Review. I'm Miriam Knight, and our guest today is Dr. Francoise Tibica, a research chemist who for the past 10 years has headed a research program on energy at the Institute of Chemistry of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Born in Algiers and raised in Paris, she moved to Israel in 1968 and has been doing research in chemistry, either in the university or in industry, for most of her professional life. Francoise has always had a lively interest in the relationship of mind to matter. She studied with the famed spiritual master and healer Colette Aboulker Muscat for 13 years and continues to pursue interests in spirituality and mental imagery. Today, we're going to discuss her book, Molecular Consciousness, Why the Universe is Aware of Our Presence. Welcome, Francoise. I'm delighted you could join us from Jerusalem. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me, Miriam, and uh, I feel uh, very uh, happy to be uh, given this opportunity to present my book. Uh, well, it was, it was a fascinating book. It's a small book. Um, but, um, I found, I guess it's the nerd in me. It's 80% introduction to the fundamentals of chemistry and physics and, um, 20% raising the most intriguing questions about the consciousness of molecules. So let's dive in. First of all, I would like to know how as a scientist for over 30 years, you were inspired to look beyond the microscope into the greater mystery of the universe, and specifically into the connection between mind and matter. Well, I can say that uh, I have uh, begun to study chemistry because my mind was uh, floating uh, on the spaces that I uh, was afraid of. So uh, I wanted to ground myself, and uh, I have... Um, a father who uh, learned Kabbalah and who spoke a lot of Kabbalah at, at home. And uh, I was taken into these worlds which uh, were uh, scary and unknown, so I wanted to have my feet ground and therefore I went to study uh, science. And chemistry was one option which I took. <laughs> How fascinating. And uh at what point did you um, meet up with um, Colette um, Albuquerque Muscat? Oh, Colette, I, I was born in Algeria, and uh, Colette uh, belonged to a very famous uh, family in Algeria, where there were many rabbis and, uh, and later on many very famous uh, medical doctors. Uh, Adir was a very, very uh, developed uh, city, and uh, all the who is who in Paris were coming to Adir's to meet other people. And uh, uh, Colette was living in this atmosphere, and my parents, were bo which are both from Adir's, knew the family, and, 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 and they knew her. Mm -hmm. So my uh, relationship with her started much lo long ago, and then... When I came to Jerusalem, I I, um, I knew she she was someone special, but I uh, never knew how how much. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I cannot say coincidence because I don't believe there is such a thing. But I was brought into her house many many years after I heard about her family, and uh, and we moved to Paris and so on. Anyhow, so I ended up in her house, and, and uh, she took me as a student. She told me, oh, I just have a, a place, which wasn't true. This is the way she was choosing her students. She said, oh, I just have a, 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 a student coming out, going out, you can, you can take her place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I started, and I was fascinated. She knew I would be because she knew how to recognize people from very far. <laughs> so that's it. And But I continue. This was exactly at the end of my PhD. And she said, well, you're grown up enough now. You have a PhD, so you can study with me. <laughs> <laughs> 
that is that the story. Now, your book um, lays the the foundation for an understanding of where you're going. I, I, I must say that you very masterfully built an edifice layer by layer to bring the reader uh, into the world of the molecule. Now, unfortunately, we don't have that much time. So can you give us a kind of a... Uh, tip of the iceberg tour of the world of the atom and molecule and set the scene for us of how um, you came to the conclusions you came. Well, uh, everything is made of molecules. Everything. And uh, these molecules which are, well, let's start differently. The whole world is made from matter and energy. That's all we have in this world, and void in between. And uh, matter is made of a hundred of, of, of uh, building blocks, which are called atoms. Everything you see all around you are made of atoms. I call them the inhabitants of the, of the universe. There is no one else, only these atoms. And everything you see is made of this atom in different combinations. Atom can bind, this is their property. They can bind and, and the bonds between the atoms transform them. I give the example of a chloride atom. A chlor so, so I want to say that uh, these atoms are, are, uh, are familiar, some of them are familiar to us and they are uh, written in the periodic table. These are the only inhabitants. Of course, there are many of its kind, but there is only uh, uh, 100 kind. And, no, we, uh, we call them elements, right? Yeah, we call them the elements. You have oxygen, right. carbon, ox anyhow. So, so iron, cobalt, these are all the elements of the universe. And these elements have characters. How do we know they have characters? Because they, they bind together, but they have a social life. They don't bind to any to uh, 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 uh. an iron atom wouldn't bind to any other atom. He has his preferences, and and these are the con the the how things are constructed around us. This is, uh, the wood, the plastic, and even our body is made of these atoms. This is a uh, the most important point here to realize that we are made of these atoms. We are nothing else but these atoms. And the question is now, what is the difference between a living being and, and, and matter? So we go back to the rules of these atoms. Is there any space for a, a rule that is specific to life? So we're going to try to look into this book for such a rule. But let's go back to the to the atoms. Uh, the atoms bind together and form uh, compounds. But when they do that, they change partners in order for uh, for uh, two molecules to react and 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 uh, become something else. They have to uh, to react, and in this reaction, there is a flow of energy. So th the first thing to remember is that the difference between uh, inert matter and and life is connected to the energy flow within these structures. Mm -hmm. Then I give the three laws that are directing this energy. First of all, the first law says that energy is not created, neither lost. Energy cannot disappear. It's here. We are in a closed system in a way. Energy cannot go out and cannot come in. We are, uh, and this is the first law of energy. Energy cannot be lost in our world. The, these are the fundamental laws of thermodynamics, yes? Yes, yes. And, and the second law is that it cannot be lost, but it can be dispersed. 
it can be uh, put in such a way that you cannot use it anymore. Like uh, when uh, you uh, you make um, uh, a sculpture out of wood, if you don't, uh, you have to to make a, in order to have a shape and to to do work with this wood, you have to lose all the crumbs around. Otherwise, you cannot have any creation. So. Um, the importance in the reaction is the flow of energy. And the second law tells you that whatever you do, whatever you do, if you want to make order and to have a creation, you have to invest energy. And this is a difference between life and inert matter. Life is uh, uh, a, a way to 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 invest energy, mm-hmm. and in order to invest this energy to make orders, for instance, what, what, why do we need energy for? If we take like uh, two molecules around us and we bind them together, um, we have to invest energy to do that, and you know, and and we make. In, in, in such a way, we make order in the molecules. So and would you say that, that you need energy just to create a change of state? A, sta- a, a change of state that goes into a, a more ordered um, structure. Mm-hmm. Coherence, yes? Yes. 